We're here at Polk Audio's headquarters outside Baltimore, and we're checking out some of the different tests that they put their outdoor speakers through to make sure they'll hold up in your backyard. So Craig, what can you tell me about the machine that's behind us here? This is our extreme heat and cold and humidity chamber. Today we're running some atrium speakers, they're our outdoor line, and they're going through a 48 hour cycle of extreme hot and extreme cold in 95% humidity and it runs temperatures as high as 185 degrees Fahrenheit and down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And you're also running audio through at the same time, right? Yes, this is an operating test, so we run at very loud levels, and this is happening all while the temperature is cycling from hot to cold. So this is the salt and fog test. So what can you tell us about this? This chamber actually simulates uh, the damaging effects of corrosive environments such as salt spray and high humidity. We have a couple of examples of our garden speakers and our subsat systems that you can actually use outside on, on a deck or actually mount it in your garden. Once they're tested uh, for a 48 hour period, then we go in and clean them all off and we check them for functionality and cosmetics, make sure there's no discoloration and that they perform as if they were brand new speakers. So you alternate this salt fog test with another UV test behind me, and you were saying that you test it for six weeks. Yes, they, the product samples spend a week in the salt fog, then we move them over to the UV test for a week, then we move them back for a week, and they go back and forth for a total of six weeks. So the next test is the dunk test, where you literally take a bucket of water and submerge an outdoor speaker in it. And the first that we're seeing is a prototype that failed. So how can you tell that this one's a failure? We could see that air bubbles come out of the product, so we know that it's not an airtight seal. And we don't want that to happen because if they're used outdoors and rain gets on them, then we certainly don't want the rain to get inside the speaker. And the next speaker that we're seeing is one that is a success. So explain that. Yes, that's a SAT30 garden speaker, and we've dunked this, as you can see, and there's no air bubbles that come out, so this is a good design. So this is a different test that you have set up for the SAT30s because they can go in your lawn, go in your garden, and so that's a slightly different environment, let's say. Yes, their typical application is to put them in your lawn or your garden on a stake. And we wanted to see what would happen if the speakers were actually uh, hit with a lawnmower or a weed whacker or a soccer ball. So we developed this test. It's kind of unique. And we wanted to see what would happen when you swing this weight back and you hit this satellite speaker to make sure it would hold up to that kind of abuse. And this test you call? A whack a sat so we've walked through a whole bunch of tests that Polk puts their outdoor speakers through. So when they go through all these machines, we know that they can more than withstand the environment of your backyard, your garden, outside your pool, or outside your beach house. Craig, thanks very much. Right.